Ida. Recovery is slow in some areas. You can see down at the bayou, they're still seeing scenes like this playing out uh, weeks after Hurricane Ida hit. But a group of ministries and volunteers is making it their mission to get Dulac and the bayou communities back on their feet. NBC Local 33's Ariel Salk brings us their story. Many homes look just like this one down here. And on top of that, power has yet to be restored, and water just started flowing a few days ago. Pastor Kirby Verrett has been preaching in the community since the 80s. He says they've been lucky in previous storms, but Ida hit them hard. The first time that we are so much damaged, we are uh, now also in the mode of trying to survive and rebuild. Despite that, Pastor Verrett has been focusing on supporting the community with help from other ministries. There's a shortage of so much in the community. It's not a short-term uh, situation. This will be a long haul. Lee Roby from Grindstone Ministries brings support from all over the U.S. So we all come together as a group uh, in, from all over the nation uh, to come in and, and provide love on people. They're giving out food and supplies, helping with construction on people's homes. And with help from some solar panels, they were able to set up these laptops, allowing people to file claims through FEMA or even check their emails. It's just my calling to give back. I've always liked to help people. It's a, truly a relief knowing that people care, that people will step up and do whatever they can within their means to support uh, people who have, are going through a difficult time. Now the guys tell me that they're going to be here for as long as they're needed. That could be at least four months. Reporting in Dulac, Ariel Salk, NBC Local 33 News.